if you started off with 20 boxes, a four by five, because you have one fourth of the girls, oh, one fourth of donuts mentioned, and you have two fifths of donuts mentioned, so it's good to start off with 20. And so we are going to mark one fourth of the donuts that the girls ate, and so one fourth is this way. Okay, that's one fourth, and then. Um, for two-fifths of the donuts, you wouldn't mark over these because those two have already been eaten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight would be what we would have marked. So now we just have to do eight going somewhere else. It's not this top row. So do you mind using a different color for that one? Thank you. So this is what the boys had. And so it said that there are 14 donuts left. And since there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes that weren't eaten, um, each box represents two donuts. And if each of these boxes represents two, not two donuts, all of these represent two donuts. So now we know that the girls had two, four, six, eight, 10 donuts. And the boys had 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 donuts. And then from there, we need to figure out how many bagels there are. Wait, those are bad. Okay. So we know that these girls that ate donuts were one third of all of the girls. So we know that this is one third. And if 10 is one third, then 30 is the number of total girls. And if 16 is one half of the boys, then we know that there's 32 total boys. And we already know how many donuts they ate. So 10 taken away, 10 donuts taken away from 30 girls leaves 20 bagels. And 16 taken away from 32 is 16 bagels. So now we know that we have 20 bagels that the girls had, 16 bagels that the boys had, plus the seven bagels that no one had. And so that leaves 26. Somebody help me with my math real quick. 43. <laughs> 43? Okay. 43 total bagels. <laughs> 